Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Jenna here. I so apologize if you can hear my mom mowing the lawn outside. She's just going back and forth and I'm like, couldn't you have started on the backyard first? But anyway, so today I'm so excited. So I have never shopped from this store before because I've heard so many different things. Uh, horror stories, just things gone wrong. So I refrained from shopping from this place for the longest time. So I am so excited to get into this. Before we start the video though, if you could go ahead and click the subscribe button, like the video, comment, share with your friends, and turn on that bell notification so that you are loaded so that you are located, so that you are notified whenever I post a video. Lastly, just follow me on all my socials, AKA just my Instagram, at xjenna. All right, now let's just hop into this video. Okay, so I've heard different things about their quality. I've heard you kind of get what you pay for, but also I've heard great things too. So I'm kind of scared to do the drop because I don't want anything to, you know, like break, but. Also, everything that is going to be in this video will be linked down in the description below. If it is unavailable, I will still go ahead and write the names of it in case the website link doesn't work. So the first item that we got, this is the white plunge ring detail bralette. So first impressions of this top, it's not put together. So have a little bit of imagination. You can tell it's really thin, so it's gonna be very see-through. So the little ring on the top too is silver. I thought it was gonna be gold, but I really couldn't tell by the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. It kind of looks like a butterfly right now. Okay, wow. So I guess I need to give it a little bit more chance before trying it on and just be a little bit more open-minded because this top is so cute. It's not see-through, so I don't need to wear any like pasties or little booby things with this top because it is absolutely fine. I love the ring in the center here. To confirm, it is silver. There is a little bit of fabric that looks like it wasn't sewn all the way on there, so I'm gonna have to cut that off because I don't want it to unravel. I don't think it will. I think it's secure in there. I think maybe they just didn't cut it, or I can just tuck it in. Overall though, oh my god. So I kind of focused on the top here my camera's about to die wonderful this is it from the back i love how it has a longer little uh tie things so that you can tie the top on the top and on the bottom and i do appreciate how the fabric is different so on the bottom it's going to be that thicker material and the top it's that thin strap but overall i'm obsessed it's going to get a lot of use with different bottoms different occasions you could almost it's kind of like a swimsuit material you could probably almost wear it in like a pool so this next top that i'm about to show you is kind of the same concept as this one just a different print so this is the multi tattoo print slinky plunge o-ring bralette it says uk size 6 but i'm pretty sure i got it in a size small oh wait they i did here is what the print looks like. I think this is going to be so gorgeous on. So I cannot wait to try this on. I'm going to go try it on right now. So it has been a little while now because my camera died. I just went outside, got some sun, and then I really liked this top. So I went ahead and took some pictures. So those probably will be up by the time this video is up. I freaking love this top. It is so cute. It did have, similar to the other one, there was a lot of loose strings all over the place. As far as the print on it, it is a lot more high quality than I thought it would be. I thought it would look like it was kind of smudged, like, you know, when you print something and like the ink smudges. I thought the print would look like that. But surprisingly, the quality of the top, as far as the print on it, looks really good. This is the top from the back. So as you can see, you get the tie, which is very long like the first one, as well as this one. Again, I love that they have the smaller string on the top and then the thicker string on the bottom, but also too, there is like a line here. It is a little bit above where the end of my boobs would be. So if you wanted to, of course, like you can loosen the strings up here and make it fit a little bit better down here. But as far as this little seam goes, I don't really mind if it kind of goes up on my boob a little bit. 
if I'm getting the fit that I want. So I do like that it is adjustable. So the next thing I'm going to try on is this dark wash open knee rip skinny jean. This is one of the things that I was really nervous about, their jeans, because I see that they have quite a few just cute jeans, but I don't know how they fit, if they're gonna be small, if they're gonna be too tight or too loose, or, or it would like be like high waters. Like I was just really concerned. These actually look like they would fit me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try them on. So I would say that these jeans fit just barely i'm about to show you but the ankles kind of they're right above my ankles so they're not long enough to me and then also in the crotch area i feel like they are those types of jeans that fit you but are so hard to get on there's no stretch no give to it and i feel like you can only pull it up so high so i feel like the crotch area is a little bit lower than what i would want it to be and i just can't pull it up any farther but the one good thing about them <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. At the ankle area, some jeans, they're too small and you just can't get it up over your ankle and it's a nightmare to pull off. These are actually surprisingly very easy to get above the ankles. And I do love the rips. So I'm about to show you what they look like. So here are the jeans. Here are the rips at the knee and this side, it has this little rip that, you know, they literally just cut like a triangle or something in the jean, which I actually love, which is why I wanted them. On both sides, it does come right down to about the ankle area. These jeans are going to take some breaking into, of course. I'm thinking though, they're those types of jeans where when you wash them, they get stiff. Like they just, like if you don't put them in the dryer, but you also don't want to put them in the dryer, that's what they feel like. They just feel really stiff as if someone washed them and then didn't dry them. But again, they're not super terrible to get on. Um, which is nice. So I think it's just gonna be like, maybe I need to stretch them out a little bit. So I would definitely have to size up one size at least because I don't like my jeans coming down to just above my ankle. It sucks that these didn't work out, but I'll probably still get some use out of them. So not too, too worried about it. The next top that I'm gonna try on is this black organza ruffle Bardot flared sleeve blouse. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Wow, this is actually super cute. I feel like it's gonna be a lot more cropped than I thought it would be. This, this top is everything. I am pleasantly surprised. If you see me looking at it on the viewfinder, it's because I'm literally obsessed. I can't stop looking at it. It is so beautiful. It's one of those tops that I feel like would be out of my comfort zone, but I just had to have it. And I'm so glad that I did. It is. Oh my god. I feel like it looks a little bit different than how it did on the website. I feel like on the website it looked a little bit longer in terms of like here or where both seams are. So it goes just above your boobs and just under your bra line. So if that bothers you, it will be a little bit cropped because like this is where the tube top portion of it if you will is and the frill at the bottom makes it look a little bit longer which is super nice and needed this is the top from the back same exact concept as the front i feel like it looks a lot more satiny but it's that shiny almost metallic kind of uh material like oh like This top is cute. I actually got a t-shirt and I don't typically get t-shirts. I don't really own t-shirts unless they're like old like cheer t-shirts or something. This is the gray Space Jam wash t-shirt. I actually got this in a size medium because I want it to be a bit more oversized than that maybe the small would have been. All right, so this is the t-shirt. It's uh, quite a bit bigger, which I think I wanted. I feel like it's kind of like cheap-ish, but I almost wanted it that way because I knew that on the website that the specific gray that it looked like, I knew that it would come kind of faded looking, if you will. So it definitely looks older, which I guess gives it that cheaper looking kind of feeling to me. But I am still pleased with it. I wish the, I don't know, I wish the graphic was a little bit more something. I just don't know what I would have wanted it to be. When I bought this top, I think I maybe, I don't know, I thought it was so cute and I thought I really, 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 really needed it and wanted it because I feel like I could do a couple of things with it like really dress it up with maybe like some black heels for some reason like like grocery store chic if you will but it's actually so soft when you put it on like i feel like it's the exact size that i wanted it to be right now i have it tucked into my jeans 
and it still is very long on the other sides. Like I was saying, I do have it tucked into my pants, but if I were to untuck it, this is what it would look like, just plain and simple. And just for some perspective, here is the logo um, up close. So like I said, I don't know what I wanted it to be. I feel like I just wanted it to be a little bit more something, like maybe a little bit more uh, 3D as opposed to just kind of copied and laid down on the shirt. I think that's what I expected and I didn't get that, but that's not an issue because it is still very cute. This top I'm kind of scared of. It was one of those tops, if I were to buy it, I wouldn't wear it. This is the white satin structured bodice, bodice puff sleeve bodysuit. Okay, so it doesn't really feel satiny, but it does kind of look it. Here's the top up close because I know that it's not let me see. There we go. It looks more satiny, but it doesn't feel very satin. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and try it on. So this top I actually thought was going to be my favorite top in the whole entire haul. I was so like excited to get this. And it's cute, but we couldn't zip it up past here normally even with tight things i can zip it up myself somehow i had to call my sister in here for her to zip it up for me and literally like it it's not gonna go any higher like this is this is all you get um so it's a cute top but i can't like i cannot wear it like i cannot wear it Like I really think that I could have done something with this top. I've never had a top where I actually couldn't get in it because I'm pretty small. Like this whole top didn't, it just, it didn't work. You can see the lining probably right here. That is where it becomes more stretchy and it's not that satin material anymore so that you can loop the bodysuit around and uh, snap it closed. But it's actually very hard because in the back, it doesn't stretch around enough. The front part is more stretchy. So I did ultimately get it snapped, but it just took longer than I would think a regular bodysuit kind of does um the sleeves are pretty decent i wish they would have cuffed more right here or at least been a little bit tighter all the way around i just i can't wear this top it's a cute idea but literally just i'm so sad that i can't wear this top or zip it up so the last top i have and i was actually super excited for this top because it went out of stock and i really really wanted it and then it came back in stock pretty quickly like within i think a few days so this is the orange acid wash print structured corset top oh this actually might be big look at that it is gorgeous i feel like it's a little bit different than what it looked like maybe on the website in terms of the print i feel like it was a lot more um I wouldn't say solid. I think I thought there was a little bit more blue in it as opposed to the orange. I would have loved to see a little bit more of that blue because I think that is just so beautiful. Um, it is wired on or boned rather on the sides. I thought it was going to be boned kind of. Oh, it is boned throughout. Just kidding. And there's actually a zipper on the back that goes all the way down. That's what I'm talking about. I think I would have liked I really hope my nipple didn't pop out. I think that's what I would have liked a little bit more to see on the front side is this blue. Okay, so this shirt just told me I need to go to the gym. And I'm tiny. It is so tight. I can like barely breathe. My sister again had to come help me put it on, like zip it all the way up. I did get it zipped all the way up. I did get it fastened, but that does not mean that I'm comfortable. And I'm kind of sad because this was the one item in the entire like thing in the entire haul that I was so, 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 so excited about. Also, I feel like it's just like my, like it's just like my boobs are just like, squished like a mammogram and it's not a bad look from like looking here but looking down that's not very appealing to see my boob just spilling out honestly i love this top so much i might just order it again um in a bigger size just so i can have it and then maybe try to like sell this top in the last top on my poshmark or something i don't know now i know for the tops that look like they fit tighter or if it requires a zipper in general size up in terms of like details um maybe it's just a me thing but these bones go like straight down pretty much these go to the side so like look like you can see me physically going that way like it's diagonal and then it's straight but i also wanted to get up close and show the top too so this is from the front and then this is from 
the back. The straps are adjustable. I think I might need to make another purchase tonight because number one, I overall do like the things that I did get and two, I think I definitely want this top in a bigger size. Moving on to accessories now, I got a set of three pairs of hoops. So these are the gold, small, medium, large twist hoop earring pack, and they are gold. Um, I th was thinking they would be a little bit more matte gold, but I think because they are like twisted, I think it makes it look a little bit more of a dull gold, if that makes sense, but I'm actually so into it. So here it are the hoops up close. You can also see the twisted kind of metal look to it that it does have from here. Next, I got a bag. Um, reason being, I just just use the same three bags and I've gotten back recently into accessories. This is the white tweed gold trim chain crossbody bag. I'm already like I'm seeing monkeys here on the little gold thing which I didn't know was there. So this is the inside of the bag. It literally has no compartments. It just sits in there. It's your most basic like what you're gonna get bag. Like it's nothing completely special and I can already tell this um fabric this like tweed if it gets snagged the whole bag is ruined because it's not very high quality oh this chain is so cold but this is actually a good length it oh, it's so cold oh my god this is the bag it's a good length I'm about five four and a half and it goes down to about I'm um, just above mid thigh I would say it is cute like I said it's more costume like so it's not gonna last you very long it does have little monkeys on the side which I was unaware of I didn't know what I thought they were but I didn't think they were monkeys so that's interesting so i have the iphone 11 pro max and it does fit in here very comfortably but if your wallet is even a half an inch bigger than a plus size type of iphone it will not fit in this bag so do keep that in mind if you carry around a wallet that is pretty big okay so last item that i did get from pretty little thing is another bag and this is the black croc crossbody bag you would think the tweed bag would come more protected okay so this is the bag oh no so you can hold it like a handheld bag like this or you can um wear these straps with it and you can also remove these straps and they are adjustable as well here is the bag from this angle as far as compartments go there are none here again is my phone going in here okay yeah this bag is smaller you're gonna have to stick it in here diagonally because it is not going to go in there comfortably you would also have to have a smaller wallet to fit on either side of your phone if you put your phone in your bag which i typically don't i typically have my phone in my hand at all times but i would definitely need to get a smaller wallet just to put inside this bag so that is the bag so that is everything that i got in this haul from pretty little thing um overall i would say that i'm pretty pleased with my purchase there were a few things that i definitely can see myself wearing quite a few times that were also really good material that i just really liked and those were those two o-ring bralettes and then that one black organza ruffle top this i love i'm probably going to go ahead and just buy it and a size up when i make my next purchase from them because i do really 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 love this top this was the one item that i wanted from the site and i'm so sad that it fits like this like i said i am going to leave every link to every item that i bought and the names of it and also the size that i bought it in if you are you know maybe a little bit smaller than me this will fit you if you're interested in having it like let me know i did say that i had a whole ordeal with this package so i didn't get it for a very long time just because of i guess everything that's going on and but i did pay for you know express shipping and then it got here like seven days later than it was supposed to so but what can you do i mean these are different times i guess um let me know what you liked let me know what you didn't like go ahead and click the subscribe button like the video comment share with your friends turn on the bell notification so that you are notified every time that i upload and follow me on my instagram at xjenna and i will see you all in my next video bye